Hi guys, this is uh, Svein on the ACS channel back again and today we're gonna have a look at Storm Collectibles 112 scale action series uh, Mortal Kombat smoke figure and this is the third and last of the Cyber Ninjas here you can see the front of the box nice display window as usual Mortal Kombat logo on the top picture of smoke on the side there and graphics continue around on the other side and here's the back and if you put it on pause you can probably read <laughs> the text there well enough and uh, yeah there's the bottom of the box and that's just about it for the box itself so let's open it up and have a look at the contents and uh, here we have the clamshell with the figure and as usual it comes with this backdrop with the Mortal Kombat logo on it if you want to use that for your display oh, shit. <coughs> you also get this uh, instruction booklet or yeah <laughs> booklet and booklet there's a picture of smoke on the front here and this is how you if I can make the camera stop flickering here Jesus guys yeah that's a little bit better so here you have some special effects part assembly how to put them on how to use the spear piece and how to use the smoke fatality and a force fed bomb if we can stop flickering again well we just have to power through it power through this but yeah this is how you attach that arm and yeah that's just about it for that, moving back to the figure itself. And here everything is in one single clamshell this time. And it's protected by one piece of plastic layer here. And there's another one that's wrapped around under the figure. So, let's go through the accessories first. You get a pair of these uh, posing hands or whatever you want to call them. Halfway grasping hands. Seems to be a similar set as with the uh, other ninjas. Black painted with silver. And uh, yeah. You get a pair of these, and yet again, you get one of these flat palm uh, hands painted black and silver. Yet again, and once again, you get one more, more of these grasping hands here you also get a pair of these ones silver black nothing much to it to be honest you also get a pair of these smoke effects I'm gonna try to put them on the figure in a minute here but you get uh, uh, are they marked? Yeah, they're marked left and right. There's an L on this one and an R on this one. So they're probably going something like this on the figure, I assume. We're gonna check it out in a second here. Just leave them right there. You get. Uh, 
I hate round things, man. Can fish this one out. You get four of these round bombs. Uh, as far as I can remember, I think uh, small cad and second fatality where it deploys a shitload of these and blows up the entire world for his second fatality. So yeah, they're yellow with black and some silver on it. Not much to them. And then you get this other piece of business, this other bomb for the force fed vitality. Painted silver, some dark grey with some the tiny piece of black and red there. And uh, yeah. That's about it for that bomb. We also have this uh, armature thing here. I don't think it collapses. I think it's as is. You got a hinge on this to hold around the the bump piece here. So you just clasp it in like this. It also seems to have some rotation here. There's a joint here. And there's a joint down here. There's the clasp piece for attaching it to Smoke's shoulder. And uh, yeah, it's painted silver with some, maybe some black in there, maybe some shadow. <laughs> I think it's mostly like a metal flaked silver paint on it. All through. And uh, yeah, that's the detail on this piece. And then there, this piece of tape here. You have Smoke's spear piece that attaches to his uh, chest plate gimmick. And it's uh, like a white grey on through as far as I can see on the wire or rope piece here coming down to a sort of a dark grey here too moving over to a flaked silver finish on the spare piece itself here and uh, yeah that's it for the accessories. So let's move over to the figure itself and check out the articulation. Oh, sorry, I almost overlooked this piece. Uh, under the figure, you have once again a bag with uh, spare uh, dreads or wires for the Cyber Ninja's head. So that's the the accessories out of the way and uh, here you have cyber smoke unit LK something 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 <laughs> uh, so yeah as the Lin Kuei ninja clan decides to automate all of their uh, their ninjas smoke eventually ends up like a as a cyber ninja, just like Smoke and Sector, or Cyrex and Sector, excuse me. Uh, you have this gimmick here opening up the chest. Let's get that one out of the way straight away here. 
can just plug it in and whoosh you can spare attack somebody or potentially go fishing I don't know but yeah that's how you do that and the articulation is exactly the same on this figure as with uh, Sector and Cyrex you have the in and out butterfly joint on both sides the PSR covering the joint you get the rubber piece on the upper part of the torso still get all the up and down and everything like that uh, I forgot to mention on the sectors review you also have the bicep swivel here going fast through this articulation get the elbow joint you got the, the ball hinge system for both the uh, wrists and the ankles uh, you got the ball peg from the head and into the chest here giving all the articulation there's a ball peg in the upper torso there's a ball peg in the lower torso uh, here in the hips you can do pretty much the full split as I did demonstrate with sector you have the tire swivel you have the double jointed knee and uh, you have the toe tilt up and down got the swivel and up and down on the ankle here so <clears throat> there's really not much difference between this one and the two other cyber ninjas but uh, yeah oh excuse me uh, anyway here you have a oh sorry here you have the full view on the front of the figure and here is the back you can always use a hair dryer or hot water to straighten out these pieces here and uh, yeah you can probably I haven't thought about it until now but you can uh, Cyrex had this fatality piece where you can take off this dreadlock piece here and replace it with the chopping piece or whatever you want to call it his fatality piece it will probably work on on smoke and sector too unless this piece is glued on now it's loose you can actually remove it and use Cyrex fatality piece on any of the cyber ninjas uh, but uh, yeah, uh, so yeah, again, there's a back of the figure. Now, what's different this time around with the articulation is in uh, probably in the arms, if anything. Uh, and I don't know, we're gonna find out. Uh, I'm gonna try to add these pieces uh, or it's probably his right hand or right side and I think uh, let me check I just add this open and uh, yeah uh, these flaps here they go under the armor so you just slide these pieces in and yeah, just guide it under the armor here and yeah that's one smoke effect and if we can quickly try to put in the other one here and yeah there we have the smoke effects installed Try 
try not to get the dreads caught up under there though, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, my tongue stopped working again. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, there's some limitation front and back due to the mass of plastic you get uh, that sort of hinder the front and back but not by m too much and everything else seemed to be just fine so yeah not too much of uh, hinders hindering in regards of the smoke effects there but uh, yeah that seemed to work just fine I already demonstrated how to put on the spare piece and then you have this piece and it doesn't look like there's a front and back here I don't see any type of markings and the hinge go and it seems like it's somewhat limited to uh, from one side it goes much further to the other side but uh, I don't think it's really gonna matter at all uh, it's nothing specific in the instructions about it either so I just think that you hook in one side or is it? maybe yeah I think you need to have the limited, limited range towards the front no no I see uh, one of the pegs are wider than the other and the same with the slots there and the ones closest to the head are wider than the outer one so it has to be with the full range forward if logic is gonna serve this shit well and you just Attach it like so, and just for the heck of it, we'll clasp in the bomb, and there you have it. So, everything that's left to do, oh damn, it's really in there when it's in there. <laughs> Oh, so yeah. <laughs> What's left is uh, the the comparison. So give me a second, and I'll be right back. And uh, yeah, here we have my entire collection of Storm collectibles, Mortal Kombat figures that I have so far. Uh, there you can see the. All three Cyber Ninjas there, and we have Baraka over here, Shao Kahn on his throne. I'm not gonna bother standing him uh, up because it's a hassle getting him back in, in, in that throne again, but yeah. And there he is, and you have uh, Goro over here, as well as Scorpion, and yeah. And, uh, all the main characters here are pretty much about the exact same size uh, Gora on the other hand is a lot bigger and Shao Kahn is probably a head or two maybe shorter than Goro himself and yeah that's just about it yeah, and uh, that was my review on uh, Storm Collectibles uh, One Fell Scale Mortal Kombat Smoke Figure. And uh, yeah, 
it's uh, it's a very nice uh, toy line. Uh, the engineering of the figure and on the figures overall, as far as uh, I concern on this particular toy line, is uh, really really nice. Uh, I don't know <laughs> what uh, else to say about it. I'm a huge Mortal Kombat fan. Uh, I'm uh, going to stick with this toy line for as long as Storm Collectibles are releasing these figures. Uh, I'm not sure which figure will be next, but uh, I have uh, uh, Sub Zero and Raiden on pre order. So I'm, I'm gonna assume they'll end up in my hands eventually what the other figures are coming up I'm not sure but uh, yeah uh, so far I've only noticed the uh, announcement of uh, of uh, Raiden and uh, that Sub-Zero figure uh, I've seen uh, some prototypes pic prototype pictures of uh, other characters too but uh, they're still waiting approval on them, so that can go both ways. Uh, anyways, uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, as always, go nuts in the comments, guys. Uh, not that I see many comments as of late, but yeah. Uh, go nuts in the comments, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye.